We've been in Ao Nang for two months now and today's the day. Today we're leaving. Today we're going to Koh Lanta. We got all of our bags packed up, including our space cat. Hey, Abchai. Luckily, uh, Koh Lanta is not that far away from Ao Nang. It's just like over an hour drive. We have a decent bike with us. To be honest, we can't wait. It's been a while. We stayed here for two months. It feels like we haven't traveled much at all. So we have that feeling back, the feeling of traveling. Are you ready? Yeah, we're leaving a couple bags here actually because we have to come back here in a week to do our visas. So we're only taking a few of our things. After traveling on the road for a couple years, few years even, we accumulated a lot of stuff. We have a lot oh, of stuff. Yeah. So oh yeah. We got the skateboard bag, so we're taking like uh, we're taking the DJ decks, the cat, <laughs> what we need for the island, right? The main yeah. important things. And we're not going the usual way um, to get to Kolanta. Usually, people get on the ferry. It's like 400 baht per person. It's quite spendy, actually. We're headed on the bike, and we're heading to the public ferry. So let's get on the road. Yeah, let's do some road trip. Right, so the gypsy van is pretty much full. Are you ready for this? <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, this is where we're going. <laughs> I got my drone bag on the side, my pilot's bag. I mean, I've seen way worse. I've seen way worse. We'll make it somewhere. All right, right? then. Look, Jai, you coming with me at the back? And we're on. All right, Galanta, get ready. We're coming for you, baby. Woof, woof, woof. Oh, it's a good, good thing. It's, it's a big bike. It's a big bike, and it's pretty comfy. I've got yeah. that space. It doesn't feel wobbly at all. No. It's good. Awesome. Palanta, here we come! Oh. Right. Question is, where do we go? I don't know. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, come on, come on. So we got the tickets here. We sort of dro drove past now. Didn't even know that we have to get tickets here. We never done this. We never actually done a ferry in Thailand. All right. Forty-five baht, which is just over a dollar, like a dollar fifty. Yeah. A dollar fifty. For a ferry, two people, and a bike, a bike and a cat. Come on, come on. All right, let's go. There's people waiting. Oh, we missed the one that just left, so we're gonna have to wait. Did we? Yeah. Damn. It's just left. Yeah. yeah. Over there. Where did you see it? There. The ferry's just gone. If we'd arrived two minutes earlier, we would have made it. Oh, I should have just stepped on it. Told you you shouldn't stop for toilet. <laughs> well, we have to wait for the ferry to arrive. I'm giving a little bit of a snack to Chai. Proper yeah. smashing it. It's favorite treats. Seems to be all right now. Well, we're pretty much here now. The trip was actually so, so short. It's one of the easiest trips we've ever done so far. It wasn't too bad. It was pretty windy on that road though. That road from Aonang to yeah. here. But apart from that, Pretty smooth. This is it, our first ever ferry in Thailand. Wow. You know, it was, ferries were concrete, it had a concrete ground, which is weird. So finally, we're moving to Koh Lanta officially. Uh, and by the way, guys, this morning we woke up very, very happy because we had a donation to PayPal from Chad. So thank you so much, Chad, for supporting our journeys on PayPal. Uh, donations like yours is helping us to get closer to the GoPro that we're saving for yeah. uh, because our current GoPro is terrible like we said in our previous yeah. vlogs it's not working so thank you so much Chad I don't know why I'm still wearing this we're going to Koh Lanta so that one's going back to the mainland by the way guys this ferry if you're interested in getting it to Koh Lanta it leaves from Hua Hin here you type it in on Google Maps and find it it's way cheaper than taking a minivan or a ferry straight from Krabi to Palanta. Maybe we've been a thousand baht nearly in a minivan or a ferry and this was like 245 with the bike rental for the day, so. And it was only like, what, one hour drive or something like that? Yeah, one hour chilling, lovely roads. And a bit more of an adventure. Yeah, we kind of missed a, a road trip. It wasn't really like a serious road trip, but still felt a bit like we're on a trip again, you know, the little adventure, so. Yeah, definitely a better shout and just faster. I and mean, you're gonna need the bike in Kolanta anyways, because Kolanta is big, yo, so you, yeah. you need a bike there. So I feel like we've done a great choice here. Yeah, it saved a lot of money. That was pretty fast, right? 10 minutes? Yeah, it was like 10 minutes on the boat. And then okay. the boats come every 20 minutes or half an hour tops. 
So you'd never be waiting here for longer than an, a half an hour? Officially here. Woo! Look at this. Welcome to Kalanta. So we just arrived to our first accommodation. We decided to stay here, like sort of the northern part of Kalanta, just for one night, and then later we're gonna be driving around looking for maybe better accommodations, better options. We're now in this local cafe restaurant, having like a little iced tea. I've seen quite a few tourists already. Not really sure how busy it is on Kalanta, but right behind us over there is the famous Long Beach. It's one of the most popular beaches. I think there's a lot of tourists stay in this area, but we're hoping we're gonna move tomorrow, right? To a quieter area. So this is it. This is our accommodation for the night. It's a very basic bamboo hut. This is our neighborhood. And yeah, it's pretty basic. It was 240 baht, which is pretty cheap. And yeah, there's the bungalow. Pretty much very, very basic. Oh, it's like a little thing here. Cat. And that's pretty much it. There's not much into this hut, really. But now we're gonna go out to town, look around for more accommodations, because it's just hard with the cat and everything. And then we're gonna try to get some food and stuff and just see what Kalanta has to say. We weren't going to the beach, but now that we saw one, we're like, let's go and check the first ever beach in Kalanta. And look, there's a bungalows. Right by the beach. It looks similar to ours, but better location. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah, it looks like the beach in Colombia. What do you think? Alright, yeah. It looks really nice, I guess. It's, uh, you can see the it's islands over cold. there. I think it's pretty beautiful. Alright, let's go find some food and check out a couple other places, figure out where we're staying longer term. So we were driving around looking for some accommodations, and guess what? got caught in a massive storm so we just stopped at this local restaurant to get some food because we haven't even eaten today and we found a really cool place for really really affordable prices um as always highest in price lowest in quality um no, but lowest in price highest in quality a bit tired but i've literally smashed half of this and look how big it was that's for 50 baht yeah the really big uh portions we've been driving up and down this road and we saw like fried rices for like over a hundred baht which is it's quite a lot if when you've been eating fried rices for like 50. This uh, restaurant does dishes for 50 baht. It's pretty good. We're just waiting for the rain to stop now so we can look at a couple more bungalows and then head back to Chai because I'm pretty sure he's not very happy being alone right now. No, I'm pretty sure he's not. Uh, but yeah, we are really excited to just explore this area a little bit more, film a lot and just make loads of videos for you guys. So if you enjoy watching this video in general, don't forget to hit that like button. Hit subscribe if you never miss our content. And we'll see you in the next one. We're going to be exploring Kalanta for the next week. So stay tuned for that.